glory. Do you find such comfort in their home as Leeds? Back from Sodden Zurich, they pick up an 18-match unbeaten run here, a sequence they haven't experienced since they last became champions. Life is a bit tougher, still without Kuhl, Viduka, Boya and others. Mercifully, Robbie Keane's painfully broken hand doesn't prevent him from playing, and Seth Johnson, unavailable in Europe, replaces Olivier Decor for a full home debut. Villa have as good a recent record on this ground as any visitor. In the absence of Mark Delaney, they require Steve Stone to start his 100th game for the club at fullback. And Paul Merson returns from a string of niggles for his first start since mid-September. Well, whilst it's natural enough that Highbury should have received top billing today, here starts the only game of the weekend in which both teams are playing possibly to top the Barclay Card Premiership. Stone for Mercy. And Mercy back into Ankal. Now by David Bassett. Well, one or two in the Villa side who might join the queue here. National is one, though he's departing the scene. Paul Merson is establishing himself as clear favourite. Alan Wright's left boot might have a part to play as well. He's just behind square of the uh, ball. Merson has played it for right. Decent try. And a firm wristed save from uh, Nigel Martin. 14 months since Alan Wright's last goal. And he is and has been over the years potent from that sort of range. It's Merson's corner. And again Paul Merson. Vassal just wide. Five of his seven goals up to now in the uh, Premiership to Rice Vassal. Right, slightly discomforted by Smith. And Schmeichel had come, and Keane has it. And Smith! A goal vacated by the VAR, Schmeichel is penetrated by the feisty Smith whose first Premiership goal it is since the opening day of the campaign. Wright sold his goalkeeper short. Smith penetrated. And normally when Peter Schmeichel leaves his goal mouth it is at his own behest. This time he was lured off limits by others and left helpless as was Stone as Alan Smith finished <laughs> thanks for coming David Alan Smith has been sent off Off the ball, Alan Smith, one can only assume, has raised an arm and has been dismissed. Here was the moment. Smith's arm across Alpine and then his elbow into the ribs. Arm nowhere near head. Is a dig in the ribs worthy of a dismissal? David O'Leary certainly doesn't think so. Hendrick, decent ball. Stone. Merson. Now Johnson flying in. Leeds have got to come down here. Hart slid in. Johnson slid in even more zealously. Johnson's been booked.
Christmas free kick. 1-1. One, one. Hassan Kashul with an acrobatic swivelling volley. And no sooner do they take a man advantage than Aston Villa grab an equaliser. Merson's ideal free kick. Cash Law's beautifully innovative finish. Up shifting it in. So Wilcox making less than convincing contact. And Aston Villa continuing to attack despite the fact the Leeds uh, have Backer injured inside the penalty area at the other end. Oh, and now there is a problem. Because Lee Hendry has raised his hands. And if Alan Smith had to go, if Alan Smith had to go, then it's hard to make the case for Lee Hendry here. What colour is it? Only yellow. Well, you could debate that till you're blue in the face. Mills went in hard, fair enough. Mills went in hard, but now look. Is he a lucky boy or is he a very, very lucky boy? And this is very wise management. Lee Hendry's being taken off by John Gregory, who I understand gave him an immediate reprimand after he raised his hand. Rather than have him sent off, he's brought him off himself and replaced him with Ian Taylor. And it wouldn't be at all surprising to see some sort of disciplinary measure taken against him in-house by Aston Villa. Agony all round. Splendid pullback from Wilcox. Fair enough save by Schmeichel from uh, Backer, and then he threw himself in at the little Irishman. Beautifully taken by Ferdinand. range left footed you'd expect him to pick out a corner Vassell joint turn and in for Taylor it's Ian Taylor for Aston Villa it's a corner and Dublin and Alpine still to register for Aston Villa the uh, Turkish centre half and ball against Botek is Ian Hart really thinking about having a crack here one in it's off the post from Ferdinand and batting Rio Ferdinand and Peter Schmeichel barely twitched as 
been one of those days for uh, David O'Leary. Score draw. A central figure of which was the referee Neil Barry. He did send off Alan Smith with Leeds ahead by Smith's goal. He didn't send off Lee Hendry after Villa had equalised through Hassan Kashnul. Inquiries to follow. Final score, Leeds 1, Villa 1. Smith was good, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, and then he was sent off. What, what was your view on that? Well, it, it, it looked to me that he caught uh, Alpi across the chest. Uh, you can't do that. Um, whether it caught him across the chest or across the nose or across the kneecap, um, you can't throw out an elbow. And uh, the referee was 100% correct in sending them off. It did become a battle, didn't it? Yeah, which is which we should have never let happen. You know, that was the only way really they were going to get back into it was to make it like that. And fair play to them, they did, and they sucked us in. So there were two moments in that game in particular that are worthy of discussion. First of all, mm. I'm, not, dis uh, I'm, dis not dis I'm not discussing it. I'm sorry, I'll let you discuss it. You, as okay. as possible, I use don't get into trouble. I do what I say. And uh, I'd be embarrassed if I, if I had to say what I needed to say today, really. He was lucky to stay on the pitch, I think, in the first place. I don't know, uh, I think it was Danny Mills. Uh, I don't know exactly if he caught him, but it appeared to me that he shoved him in the face and um, really should have got his marching orders.